A huge swarm of bees killed one landscaper and injured several more in Arizona this month. The bees apparently lived in a nearby home's attic. The colony in the home was so large, exterminators estimated it was a decade old. Based on how aggressive the bees were, officials believe they were Africanized honeybees, or so-called killer bees. A hybrid of Western and African honeybee species, the bees can famously be tracked to a single biologist, Warwick E. Kerr. In Brazil in the 1950s, he sought to crossbreed a bee that would yield more honey, but his swarms escaped their apiary and spread to the rest of the Americas. They were in the United States by 1990. The bees have earned a fearsome reputation because they're more sensitive to humans and more defensive than other species. They also swarm in larger numbers. Whereas small numbers of European honeybees typically defend a hive, a disturbed Africanized honeybee hive can draw 2,000 attackers or more. They even pursue victims over long distances, sometimes more than a quarter mile. Meanwhile, the U.S. Department of Agriculture says the Africanized honeybees have been spreading about 200 miles a year, adapting well to warm southern U.S. climates. In the recent Arizona case, the man appears to have died of cardiac arrest. Most bee deaths in the United States are caused by allergies, usually about 50 a year. And most people who are attacked by Africanized honeybees survive. According to the Agriculture Department, most people can tolerate about 10 stings per pound of body weight, so an average adult could survive well more than 1,000 stings. But what should you do if you accidentally trip an aggressive hive? Primarily, run. Bees can reach speeds of 12 to 15 miles per hour, but most healthy adults can run faster. If possible, the Agriculture Department also says to pull your shirt over your face to protect it. Do not swat bees or flail your arms. Jumping into a pool or lake will not help you, by the way. Bees have been known to hover and wait for people to come up for air. Anyone stung more than 15 times or potentially allergic to bee stings should seek medical help right away.